In terms of the number of exciting and engaging things to do, Tokyo is basically impossible to top. With its brightly colored temples, modern shopping centers, and beautiful public parks, this is the only town on this planet that can offer visitors a unique mix of thrilling activities. Number 10. Manzan Nakacho Locals often call this area Manaka, and it's primarily known for the Tamioka Hachimangu Shrine, the place where traditional sumo tournaments are regularly held. This is also the place to go when travelers and visitors alike look for affordable izakaya pubs. Spend a day at Manzan Nakacho to learn how an authentic Tokyo experience looks and feels like. To reach this area, you only need to take a 15-minute subway ride from Tokyo Station, and it's also within walking distance from other less touristy neighborhoods like Kabatocho. This area also has several specialty coffee shops such as Manaka Coffee. This comfy cafe is a wonderful place where you can spend a whole morning sipping a cup of hot coffee latte, all while enjoying your favorite piece of pastry, which is freshly made on site. Number 9. Kabuki Za Theater Kabuki is a famous Japanese theatrical performance featuring players with elaborate costumes and facial makeup. And Kabuki Za Theater is one of the best places to witness it as a tourist. Yes, there are other places to see it in Tokyo, but this one has the best amenities. The place experienced a major renovation in 2013, and now it has an underground plaza where visitors can shop for souvenirs and other cute objects. Visitors can also make a stop at the gallery and rooftop area to gain a deeper understanding of the kabuki culture in general. Traditionally, a kabuki performance consists of four different acts and may last for up to four hours, which is not a short time. To make it more tourist-friendly, Kabuki Za Theater made some changes so that visitors can enjoy the performance for one act only. Number 8. Shinjuku Gaioi there's no denying that Tokyo is famous for its temples and art venues, but it's also important to note that it has some of the most beautiful public parks on the planet. Take Shinjuku Gaioin, for example, which is the city's answer to New York's Central Park. The property was once a section of a lord's home from the Edo era, but it was made public in the 1940s. Today, it's become a favorite place for locals to take in the view of the natural surroundings in the central part of the city. Despite being situated just a quick walk from the Shinjuku Station's southern exit, the leafy pathways found at Shinjuku Gaioin make it the perfect place for an afternoon stroll. When it's time for the cherry blossom season, people usually spend the weekend picnicking here. Number 7. Nizu Museum Anyone who calls themselves a fan of Asian and Japanese art must definitely visit this place while they're in Tokyo. It boasts a vast collection of more than 7,000 art objects from East Asia, including Japan, as well as a nicely decorated Zen garden in its complex. The wide range of artistic work in the museum's permanent collection is mostly focused on objects from the Buddhist civilization, such as calligraphy, painting, and ceramics. In addition, there's also a seasonal exhibition that changes almost monthly. Once you're done exploring the art collection, you can continue your journey discovering the green expanse of outdoor area outside. There's a cafe offering various snacks and beverages in the garden area where you can take a break and have something to eat and drink. Number 6. Karaoke Kan Shibuya You can never call a trip to Tokyo complete without going to a karaoke bar with a group of friends and singing your heart out loud all night long. And if you want to have this experience like a real local, you should head to Karaoke Kan which is located in the Shibuya area. Fun fact, this is the place where the now classic movie Lost in Translation was actually recorded. So if you can't help but be curious about what the iconic scene location looks like in real life, make sure you book room 601, where you can also get a scenic view of the area. Despite its status as the recording place of an iconic movie, you shouldn't worry about paying a premium price at Karaoke Con, just like any other karaoke bar in Tokyo, the beverages here are very affordable, and they range from basic options to neon green colored ones. Number 5. Ryokan Kamagawa Have you ever heard of Ryokan? It's actually the Japanese version of a homestay. What makes a Ryokan unique is that it offers you a glimpse into what it was like to be a traveler in ancient Tokyo with its old world charm and hospitality. Conveniently located in the heart of the Asakusa neighborhood, Ryokan Kamagawa is one of the most iconic of its kind. It blends classic Japanese tradition with modern world amenities, as can be seen from the presence of West-style beds in the tatami bedrooms. 
If you want to have an authentic Tokyo cuisine experience, you can visit Kura, the inn's on-site restaurant serving various grilled dishes. The location of Ryokan Kamagawa is also a big plus since it only takes a five-minute walk to arrive at Asakusa Station. Number 4. Heiwa Doboroku Brewery Brewery has also become a big thing in Japan over the past few years and we can experience it on hand in the Kabatocho neighborhood. This area was once known for being packed with business people, but now it's buzzing with edgy and hip youngsters. Hiwa Doboroku Brewery is one of the most renowned businesses in the area that played a significant role in the transformation process. As its name implies, this compact corner bar focuses primarily on Doboroku, a rustic expression of unfiltered sake. Previously, taxation rules outlawed the classic brew. Thank goodness, the presence of businesses like Heiwa Doboroku Brewery helped it make a comeback. Today, visitors visiting Tokyo can enjoy everything from dry hop to seasonal style Doboroku. Number 3. Shibuya Sky Observatory Standing at more than 200 meters high, Shibuya Sky is the best place to enjoy an unobstructed 360 degree view of Tokyo. From here, you can observe many of the city's most famous places, including Tokyo Tower, Shibuya Crossing, and Mount Fuji from afar. Sunset is typically the best time to come to the observatory area because it allows you to take in the vista provided by Tokyo's orange sky. However, if you're unable to secure the ticket, visiting this place at night can also provide you with an equally mesmerizing view. Pro tip, if you want to enjoy the view from this building without the presence of a big crowd, then you can go to the sky gallery floor. While it's impossible for you to get the open air experience, you can sit at the bar with your partner while appreciating the cityscape. Number 2. Don Quixote When you're traveling to Tokyo, don't forget to bring a spare suitcase for the things you buy while you explore the city. There are just too many unique stores selling unique things here, and Don Quixote is the best example of them. With shelves jam-packed with rare action figures and brightly colored signs telling you massive price cuts, the Mega Discount Sensory will give you a sensory overload. Even when you're not a first-timer, the Mega Donkey can simply be a lot to process. The store has almost anything you can think of in its inventory, from groceries to electric goods to skincare products. On top of that, there are several versions of Don Quixote around town, so you might need to visit a few of them to find the things you want. Number 1. Nakano Broadway For the most part, Nakano Broadway is a shopping complex known for selling comic books, toys, video games, and even Disney collectibles. However, due to the number of visitors visiting the area, it's become a jam-packed place filled with foreign faces. Yet, Nakano Broadway is able to retain its unique charm, providing visitors with an eclectic mix of second-hand stores and otaku outlets. This place, after all, is worth visiting, especially if you're a fan of anything related to manga, anime, and Disney. There's no other place on this planet that can give you the same opportunity to score hot deals on rare collectible items. It is, however, best to visit Nakano Broadway with a local as your companion since it can be hard at times to navigate its cramped corridors. The Takeaway As you can see from previously shown guide, thanks to the many things to do available, you can spend a whole month in the East Capital City and not feel bored at all. But if you don't have a lot of time, make sure to include at least the 10 things we've shown to you. Also, don't miss the best restaurants in Tokyo and the video being displayed on your screen in the top right corner. See you in the next video!